Hello, my name is Fiona Beach and I'm the Urogynaecology Subspect Trainer here at the Birmingham Women's Hospital. I'm going to explain the POPQ grading system for pelvic organ prolapse. This stands for Pelvic Organ Prolapse Quantification and is a site-specific tool to describe pelvic organ prolapse. Some centres use it as part of their day-to-day -day assessment, but it is also very important as a research tool as it's reproducible. There are nine measurements in total and these are recorded on a grid. Six relate to specific points in the vagina and they are measured with respect to the hymen. If they lie above the hymen, they are given a negative number and if they are below, they are given a positive number. AA is the point on the anterior vaginal wall that is three centimetres proximal to the hymen. So this could be recorded as minus three all the way down to plus three. BA is the most distal portion of the remaining upper anterior vaginal wall. So this could be minus three, but it also could come all the way out to plus five, six, seven, or even more in extreme cases. AP is a point on the posterior vaginal wall, three centimetres proximal to the hymen. Again, this could range from minus three to plus three. BP is the most distal portion of the remaining upper posterior vaginal wall and can range from minus three to six, seven, eight or more. C is the most distal part of the cervix or vaginal cuff scar if they've had a hysterectomy. So this could have a big range around minus 10 or could come down to seven, eight or even more. D is the point in the posterior fornix and this is often two to three centimetres above point C but sometimes the cervix is quite flush with the posterior fornix. This is excluded if they've had a hysterectomy. GH stands for gentle hiatus and is measured from the middle of the external urethral meatus to the midline and the posterior hymen. PB is the perineal body and is measured from the posterior portion of the gentle hiatus to the middle of the anus. And TVL is the total vaginal length measured when point C or D are in their normal place. When you examine someone, you can measure each point and record it in a grid, so it's easy for the next person to see what prolapse is present. This is useful for when comparing pre and post operatively. So we can have a look at some examples. So here is a sister seal where point AA and BA are both at zero. Here is uterine descent where the cervix is at minus one and D is at minus three. Here is a complete volta version which shows that AA and AP are both at plus three, so as distal as they could be. It shows that BA and BP are at plus seven, which is the same as point C. In this case, there's no uterus, so there's no need to record D. I hope that this has made POPQ a little clearer and I have more confidence to assess women with prolapse.